look at her. What a beauty. She looks very dangerous. Should we put our hand in her mouth? Oh, what a beautiful specimen she is. Remember that guy? What was it? Uh, the crocodile guy? God rest his soul. The guy that uh, passed away um, from, uh, I think, what was it Stingray he got in his punctured his heart or something like that? Crazy. But anyway, what up, Nitro Nation? Muggy Maniac is not at the cave obviously because there's no music i could have brought my little bluetooth i did that before on one of my videos hook it up bluetooth you know but i am filming for my camera unfortunately muggy jack messed up man i didn't put my sd card that has a little sim card inside of my gopro because you know when i was editing and going back and forth on my laptop and you know all that so i spaced out what an idiot so guess what we're going to have to do it old school style. Good thing I got this new phone. Um, I don't know if you guys know or not. <laughs> this phone has is killer, killer, like 48 or 50 megapixels as far as the resolution. You guys can obviously tell from my old LG. It's a Samsung uh, i5, i50 something, 5.4, whatever. Five, it's a 5 gig. So I've got probably internally it already has 100 and. 26 or 125 uh, megabytes or 125 gigs of memory and pl now it's because of my card it's probably got about 400 <laughs> so i've got plenty of room but so i'm gonna probably i'm gonna put it on this good thing i brought this little stand so we're gonna do old school style we're probably gonna get like a view of this and we'll rip it around then we'll get a view of like that you know i'll kind of move it around so i'll try to do as best i can i was trying to think if i can maybe hold it the, the camera, try, I've seen guys do that and try, it's, uh, it is what it is, man. Um, again, I apologize, you guys aren't going to get the, the, the uh, GoPro, uh, even though this is probably going to be way better resolution and better uh, quality than, than the GoPro, because the GoPro is old school, and the, because of my microphone busted, it's not working, It's the, it sounds like robotic, it's shitty sound. I'm looking at getting a brand new one. I might just go out and spend the $300 and go get a GoPro 8 Black or whatever the hell they're called. So, anyway, we are at the uh, last time I ran here was when we had all those issues with the XTM. I didn't get to run anything else here, so I'm back. It's a good area because there's no, you know, there's other areas I could have went. Like, I was going to go in that dirt area. I started building some, we'll get back to that area. I'm building some, some jumps, but it's too small for the 5B. Um, we are going to run some nitro first, obviously. So we're going to run some nitro. Okay, hold on a second. Let me put you guys in the... At least put you guys in the camera stand so I don't have to jack around with it later. So... Anyway, we are going to wrap some nitro. It's going to be like jumping on. By the way, welcome all muggy man... Where's my manners? Welcome all muggy maniacs, chuggy maniacs, buggy maniacs... Yeah, monster truck. If that's what works for you, fine. As long as it's nitro. Even though you know how I feel about pull starts and motor starts, they're headaches, waste of time. They work for you, great. But in a whole, they. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to even want to get into it. <laughs> anyway, and welcome all fifth scale insaniacs. Look at that. Hey, if you guys don't have one of these, especially if you have to do a long haul over here, from like look at the parking lots way over here. Who what the hell is going to carry this? Hell no. That's what I bought this thing for. I think it's a uh, full force. Can't beat it, man. Look at it. Just pull it like a dog. She's a big dog. But anyway, look at her. She's looking sexy. Yes, we are going to rip her. We are going to just... We're going we're gonna to do some full, full just pinning. I want to pin this thing. I want to see what it's got. I want to see what this 34 signature series reed case... Fully modified CNC uh, balance DLC coated crank the whole nine yards. Again, we're running the the. Um, by the way, shout out to um, the Wookster. I know he never gives me any shout. Well, he gives me shout outs every once in a while. I wouldn't say never. Um, but credit due where credit's due, man. These I know a few people that have them are badass. Definitely worth the investment. Bigger size bearings, which is better. Um, billet aluminum, way stronger. Not that there's anything wrong with the low C stock ones because guys run that. And you got the disc brakes. 
um, that have a guide in it. That's what's kind of cool. If you look down in there, see that? There's a guide that guides them. Um, but this thing is just fully loaded. My suspension's kind of sagging. We have to crank that, crank the suspension up a little bit. What the heck? It's kind of sagging. I might need to uh, put some thicker oil in it. But anyway, I just noticed that. I was like, hey, how come it's uh, drooping there a little bit? Let me uh, see if I can even that out. I just don't want it springy. I might have to... Oh, yeah. That's good. Let's go a little bit more. Let's get that front end up a little bit. I haven't really, I don't remember if I even really adjusted these. I think I've got 40 in the front. I might go up on weight. I don't know. It seems okay, but I don't know until I start putting this thing up, up in the air. Launching it a little bit. I think that should be okay. How's my back? Let me see the back. Maybe I'll stiffen the back up a little bit. Five. One. Two, three, four, five. I usually count. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, anyway, back to what we are talking about. Shout out to the Wookster. He got the RC modified. Uh, again, shout out to, to One Fifth Chris. He was the one that hooked me up a DDM deal of the day. I think normally it was 145 150 bucks. I paid $25 less, so he saved me 25 bucks. So I guess I owe him 25 bucks. If you're watching this, Chris... I owe you 25. I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's like, what? Anyway, again, we're going to finish uh, probably a couple more tanks today. I'm going to run a couple more. I'm not going to film running a couple tanks. We're going to get some footage, though. Then the next time, I'm going to pull this off, and I'm going to throw on the uh, power stack, the DD, uh, the the OBR power stack. I have a triple dome filter with the outerwear. We're going to put that on there. Obviously, that's I didn't cut that hole out there for no reason. Um, I really didn't like cutting holes in the bodies of these things, but I mean you pr I priced them a stock clear Replacement TLR body like that is 250 bucks ridiculous crazy So I think the uh, I'm, I'm looking into getting one of those Forzas. I know elite has one I don't I think Chris has one too one fifth So I want to get one of those I think they're like 150 125. They're not too bad. They're cheaper than these That's for sure. I don't know why TLR is raping raping you for that that body not that there's anything special. But anyway, we're going to rip it, grip it, rip it. Uh, there's not really any place to send it. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to just get warmed up with some nitro. Because um, nitro is the glory. Um, and gas. E-word, I don't know why. Anybody can turn this thing into a freaking electric. I don't get it. I get people shit all the time on Facebook. I'm always talking shit to people that have these things, and I always tell them, can you run your 10S or whatever those the, the E-Word fifth scales are all day long? I want to see you run that electric fifth scale for hours on end. You can't. That thing will blow up. <laughs> It'll melt to the ground. I can run. We can run our gases tank after tank after tank after, all day long. While your ESC is cooling down, we're brapping. Anyway, I don't want to get into that. We're going to fire this up, so give me a second. Let me get this thing fired up, and uh, we're going to start ripping. All right. Hold on. All right, people. Let's rip this thing. Oh, I forgot to tell you, if you haven't noticed, this is the TNS modded 28.8 Rex Legend. No 
Rusty Super Strong, 9886, or 51021, 41032 header. We're running a 14 clutch bell on it. In the Techno NB 48.3. kind of rich right now but I always run my my uh, modded engines rich <laughs> she is nasty though and this, and this tech note this this 288 Rex legend is nasty <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that thing just you didn't catch it I don't think it it flipped. <laughs> it got landed right side up though. This thing is just... I agree to a certain extent. Okay, I don't recommend putting... This is my take on the whole big engines and buggies. Okay? It. I don't recommend it. It's probably a little bit more stress on these buggies. Um, but not any more than it is on the truck. They are very uncontrollable, very squirrely, <laughs> um, but they're fun as hell, man. I mean, if you don't think this is fun, you're crazy. <laughs> and it, this engine really doesn't belong in here, but <laughs> I can put it in here because I think it's badass. four of them shout out to my brother brother from another mother gearhead attic again you know on his techno i think he's ready to run it i think he's going to put the 28 7 in it that's modded by rcr because he hasn't really ran that that yet he doesn't know if he wants to mod that 28 8 rex that he just got and i don't blame him you know i don't i don't know how he really i mean i watched the video listen i didn't have to let him have that I didn't have to let him buy. I, I, that whole deal that he got was mine, okay? But he's, you know, he's like my brother, man. And, you know, he didn't, I wouldn't say he begged, but <laughs> he wanted it. And I was like, man, I didn't want it. This thing, the front end will stay down. This, he didn't, he wanted it and I didn't want to give it up. I mean, who in the right mind at right this point in time is going to give up a 288? Brand new, never ran in the box. Okay? But I have four of them. And I'll find another one. Matter of fact, I know where two more are right now. So I will be getting another one. I don't regret it, but I do think about it. If there wasn't a day that goes by, that, that 28 ed, I would have liked to have that one. Um, but, you know, hey, I'm not greedy, man. That's what this hobby is about. You know, sharing is caring, right? That's the way I was raised anyway. But. This thing is just nasty. I could probably run a 15 on it. It's pulling this 14 like nothing. <laughs> Let's get some high notes and do some full pulls. Ready? Here we go. That thing is screaming. You know what? Like I said, this RCR, Lance does killer work. Like I said, the 28 that he did is, is a little bit better than this one as far as the power across the board. But this TNS, 
modded 28.8 Rex Legend that Neil did whenever he did it. It's a badass engine, man. <laughs> Sorry about that, people. Had to put the body on it. Okay, here we go.
Oh, snaps. people we got the body on now She is feeling and sounded nasty. Mm-hmm. 
We're just tossing around. Well, that's what they're for, right? Can't baby her. Woo! That MP, Amsel MP is burning up that pipe. I can smell it. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. It's supposed to quit. If it doesn't quit, it ain't tuned right. <laughs> Hilarious. I had to throw that in there, sorry. That's kind of scary. Yeah, I could probably go 21. I mean, it, it gets it, but well, I'm kind of running at risk, so it's hard to tell. I just want a little bit more on bottom. Once it hits mid, it's gone, man. This thing is just, it's too much. I'm not really even pinning it all the way. I did flip it and roll it a few times, but these five B's are pretty tough. I mean, I haven't tested it really yet, but I've seen people beat the hell out of them. And yeah, I, I mean, it's fine. It's so hard to tell because this thing's, I've only got, this is like maybe three tanks. I think I've ran maybe two full tanks through it, two and a half. I just want a little bit more on the bottom. Like when you're at a dead stop, you guys can see it, hopefully. 
it, it, it lags a little bit, but once it kicks that, like, right about mid, the power band, this thing is just gone. But, I don't know. Definitely 23 would be too much. I might try a 21. If they make a 21, I don't know. kicks in man this thing is just gone <laughs> hear it right there when it kicks in you guys can hear it and see it I think <laughs> yeah it's a little lag on the bottom it's almost got the 22, I don't need that much top end. It's got a lot of top end. Like, I don't know, you guys can see it flying by, but it's even picking up. And I'm not really even burying the throttle. I think you've seen enough. What I heard a, a, a humming sound, and what, right now, and I know what it is. Look, I don't think I lost sight of that dumbass. Anyway, make sure this kill switch works. Yeah. So <laughs> I just right now. Uh, when, when I was ripping it, I heard a humming sound. Like when I pinned it and then let off, I heard a zzzz. Well, that's probably what it is. The, the mesh. Yeah, see the mesh, it's wrong. Feels all rough now. I just caught it right now, so it must have just came out. Hear that? No bueno. So if this thing moves, that's what this is for. Without this brace in here... Your shit, you'll probably destroy gears. So hopefully I didn't get any gears. Feels a little rough. Uh, I don't know, but we're, I mean, dang. We're running on grass. I hate to see what these things look like after you run on dirt. But anyway, we're pulling this thing down. Taking everything out. Engine out, everything. I'm not taking the dips apart, but I'm going to do, you know, muggy style. We're going to pull the tank. All radio tray. We might even pull the center dip out just to check it because... It's been, it was, remember, this thing sat along a while after I built this thing. It looks like they're not, I don't know if they're leaking or not. I don't think they're leaking, but just from setting there. Anyway, we're going to go through the whole thing. You know how muggy rolls, but good thing I caught that, man. If you keep running like that, listen to that. That's, that's when you just destroy gears. And remember, these things are not just double the size of, you know, Nitro, eight scale nitros, double the price, sometimes triple. <laughs> but anyway, um, oh, let's unplug it. And we are not running switches, just running a straight plug. Okay, let me unplug this. Turn that off. Turn that off. Make sure this is batteries off because I can't. Oh, there we go. Anyway, um, yeah. So my my take on this. Uh, it's, it's nasty. When it, when the power band kicks in, this thing gets just crazy. I mean, you guys seen it, and I wasn't even burying the throttle. I was only like three quarters throttle because it just was, it, it was, it picked up speed. This thing flies. I can sacrifice the top end. I want to probably drop it down to a 21. I don't, I know, I want more bottom. It doesn't have the, the bottom snap that I really want. 
Um, I knew it would be different because, you know, like a lot of guys said, well, I know you ran it on concrete with those low C tires, but when you put these big ass knobbies and you put it in grass even, it's going to change everything. And it did. Um, it didn't have that snap in that bark was when I ran it on concrete. I kind of expected that. Uh, I think a 22 is just for these this setup that I have is 22 is a, it's a two, little bit too much that's a way more top end than I'm ever going to use um so 20 I think would be too would be too little it would be like I want some top end so maybe we'll try a 21 if they make one we'll see or maybe we might do the uh I think they have like a 1958 I don't know how that would work so we're gonna mess around with the gearing but other than that this thing is just a beast remember this thing isn't even broken in all the way it's still breaking in i've only ran what two tanks maybe three tanks through it not even that because look i didn't even finish this tank this thing <laughs> the fuel mileage on fiscals i do love it you can run a tank i can run out here for an hour for two hours probably i don't know i mean i probably ran a total of an hour and this tank wasn't topped off it was only like right up to here so i mean these things are really good on gas mileage I love the smell of that 927. It smells really good. Plus the Sunoco fuels working well. Remember, I'm running 100 octane, still 28 to 1. So I think that's about it. We might switch it up after I'm done with this fuel. A couple more tanks of 28 to 1. And we're going to go um, probably 30 to 1. And uh, yeah, so that's it. You guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. We're, you're going to have a little bit of night. be another hour long video from the muggy. But mostly ripping, less of my yip yapping, less yip yapping and more brip brapping. That's that's what, that's what I want to say. Less yip yapping and more brip brapping, snapping, crackle, pop. Again, your shit should idle, nice steady idle, clear it out a little bit, and then you should be able to just get it, get it, get it, get it, like a dirt bike. Get it, get it. Anyway. Uh, I've been doing a lot of shout outs. You, they, you guys know who you are. Um, you know, um, the main ones, <laughs> the guys again that I give shout outs all the time. And I probably will always give these guys shout outs because, you know, these guys are, are the ones that pretty much have my back uh, as long as I'm doing Fisco. Elite RC, 1 5th Chris Garage, Big Johnny, and, um, Sean and Dan at OBR, man, this engine is, like I said, it's still not broken in, and this thing is a badass engine. I know if I take a tooth, or if a, take at least a tooth off, this thing will really be getting it. didn't have too much hesitation when I punched it, and again, it's kind of hard to tell because I'm running it really rich. Uh, not real rich, but I'm running it rich because, you know, I'm breaking it in still. I'm running 28 to 1. I'm running rich on the needles. Um, it's not blubbery rich, but it's still rich. So, I mean, I can lean them out a little more once I start running 30 to 1. Who knows? Maybe I might just keep the 22 for now. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a lot of top end. I mean, I'm, when you guys only see on this camera, I'm starting there and I'm flying past the cameras right here. But when I'm going past and it's, it just, it's going, it's picking up speed. I didn't even pull full throttle. It's just way too much and there's no room. Even all this room here is not enough for this thing to fully stretch its legs. This, this, like I said, the 22 is a lot. We still got the 1242 carburetor. It's going to get modded because OBR is modding the 1242 now, opening it up for more performance. Um, so we're going to get that done. Probably I might miss, I might just pull this carburetor off now when I clean it, package it up and send it to Dan and have him modify it. And then when I get it back, throw the lost, throw the power stack on it, triple dome filter, outerwear, and we're ready to rip again. And we'll see maybe that power stack and the modded carburetor will give me a little bit more down below. I'll tell Dan about it. Um, he he's, he's actually Dan's just going to tell me to drop a gear. But anyway, um, that's pretty much it. She came out, ended up running pretty good. The Techno held up. This TNS, TNS 28.8 Rex Legend is a monster. This thing is waking up. It's still only got about three gallons, but it's getting there. All right, people. Um, that's about it. I got to clean up some stuff. And uh, I'm starving like a hostage, and uh, that's pretty much it, you know. That's the I don't I don't want to sit here and go back and forth too much. So, all right, man, peace out.
Hope you are strong, baby.